Good morning, uh, listeners, and welcome to Schulte and Swan Halftime, the multiple award-winning Schulte and Swan marching band under the baton of director of bands, Dr. Scott Schulte, with musical director Greg Young, have been beguiling you with the wonders of phenomena this season. Today, some quick hits on the power of a smile and muscle size related to strength. But first, what say we ponder the phenomenon of product integration while we refresh ourselves with an ice-cold Coca-Cola? After all, when the band wants the most refreshing taste around, Coke is it. One, a new study has disproved an old study from the 1980s where it was learned that making a smile can make you happier. Well, a new team redid the study, again showing participants far side cartoons. And this time, they determined that faking a smile merely makes you look like a moron who's faking a smile. The band wonders if they showed the cartoon where the farmer is milking a cow standing on the ba- his back legs and his front hooves at the waist. The farmer says, I hate it when they stand. No faking that smile. As for faking it, the band doesn't want to open that can of worms. They say, just give me some lovin'. <laughs> Muscle size and muscle strength may be separate phenomena. That's according to researchers at the University of M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I. Basically, it breaks down this way. Muscles getting bigger through exercise don't automatically mean the muscles are getting stronger. The evidence was found to be weak. The band thinks this study has revenge of the nerds written all over it. Good luck at the bar getting a date while citing that study, Tiny Tim. (laughs) Meanwhile, the band will be flashing their arm cannons and playing Gonna Make You Sweat.
the band. I'm announcer's name saying enjoy the second half and go Hawkeye. It's great to be a Hawkeye. Z102.9.